Good evening sheep fans. Tonight we are getting some yows in, some yows and lambs. Gonna go through them, see what we can draw out for the market tomorrow. I know we tried this last week or the week before in the rain. Had maybe 10 lambs that were over the weight. Not a great deal, but say you get 90 quid a lamb. Still 900 quid, it's probably worth the drive up because tomorrow's a wet day. And although it's a nice night, I think we're out of sheds for dry sheep in the morning as far as I'm aware. So I'm gonna go, get the bike, got the two dogs here, and we'll go and get the, the sheep in and get a look at them. Lovely night, so I might get a drone up, that's why I'm wearing this backpack, so I can put the drone up. Maybe get some more footage with that, everyone seems to like that. As always, when you're watching my videos, if you can click the subscribe button, press the wee bell next to the subscribe button, and that'll give you a notification when I put a new video up. I'm trying to stick to some sort of routine, I'm gonna have a video at least every Sunday, and I'll try and get one midweek as well on the Wednesdays, if possible. Just depends, obviously through the winter I'm not going to be as busy as I have been through the summer But I'll have more time for editing and maybe doing little bits Also as I'm selling lambs I'll try and video it each time I'm getting lambs in I'm taking them away and selling them and I'll show you the prices I get Doesn't bother me, I'll show you what the trade I'm getting from my lambs uh, All my lambs will go through Lanark as I've said before I'll Go and get them in just now and see what we get Another announcement Sky is in pup, she's actually doing about 10 days so that's another wee exciting thing, so we'll take it easy with her tonight. I do need her for a wee extra kept right enough. Yows and lambs quite hard to shift. Let's get going. Now there are cows in this field that we're going to take the sheep out of, which always poses an issue. Young cattle, they're just quite interested by everything that's happening. This guy loves to run to this road. Tell you Sky. Don't run on the road till I'm there. Tell you Sky. Come on now. So, yeah, young cattle, early Meg. Young cattle can always pose an issue. So we've got the quad bike, it makes life a bit easier. Wait there, wait there, lie down, lie down. Issue. Come on up, early Meg. Because we have these cows in the field, I obviously don't want the cows getting through and running out with the ewes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this gate just now, gather all the ewes and lambs up into this area, try and shift the cattle away from them, wait for them to settle down if they get a bit excited. You can see already they're intrigued. That's the thing with cattle, if you go into a field, if it's something different, they're very inquisitive animals. They'll come up to you out of interest. The trick is just not to panic, be relaxed. Unless it's cows and calves, then you should panic and get out of the field. In fact, if, if you're not if they're not your cows or your stock, why are you in the field? The good thing with the sheep here and being used to this block of ground, they know this gate's here so I more or less just need to open the gate and they'll run through it themselves. Which is handy because Meg is just, I don't know, Meg what are you doing? What are you doing? Look back. See, see, see. We. She just does her own thing. Light down. Light down. And Sky's just wandering about here, bringing these ones down. And obviously the cows are at the brow of the hill there. We're just trying to make sure they don't come over here and uh, upset the farmer in it. Also, the one that's not shown, that's a, that's a gimmer that I left because she'd not long lambed. Let me show the rest of them. Tell you, mate. Uh, come by. Shh, come by. Shh. 
Well, hurry up a bit here before the cows come over and see what's happening. Come by. Shh. See, see, come by. Shh. Lie down, lie down. Lamb there with a sore foot. We'll need to tackle that as well today. That will stunt the growth a little bit. My drone's up in the sky, you won't see it here, but my drone's just hovering up there. The footage will be on the go, hopefully. Something more to use. So I need to get through gate before the cows come and then try and catch that drone in the air because I've nowhere flat to land it here. But I saw some guy on YouTube just catch out there, so let's do that. Here we go, guys. I am back on the voiceovers. This seems to be my new thing just now, although I'm so much more enthusiastic this time because last time it sounded quite boring. Well, as always, there's always one and it's this wee lamb so now i have to try and get the lamb go through on you go straight through on you go lammy follow the mums on you go almost almost and now my phone's ringing i'm gonna have to answer that and continue this in a second sorry about that interruption i'm back the lambs went the wrong way i'm trying to work the drone and send the dogs go and get them dogs that's it oh wrong way with the drone back down what's happening have they got her yep they've got her the lamb's a she now it's coming back to me right go right please lamb go right go right shh 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 Ah, oh, beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. And we're going over the... Look at that. That is beautiful. It's like the Amazon. Absolutely incredible. Let's go. <laughs> oh well, just need to land in the grass then. Actually quite hard work trying to juggle the drone and the GoPro and the dogs and the bike and the sheep running everywhere. And they're on this fresh, fresh bite of grass so they don't really want to run too hard, that's why they're all fanning out and heads down. We'll get there. First lot in, now time to do the same with the second lot. No drone this time because it takes far too long. And the nights are fair drawing in, it'll soon be Christmas. Okay, so I haven't taken much footage here because it's so much racket and it's getting pretty dark that you wouldn't really see or hear much anyway. But just a, <laughs> the good thing is the scales, the light on the scales is good at night. So all we're looking for here, I spoke to the auctioneer at Lanark because we're looking for anything over 40 kilos just now, trade's quite strong so I've been selecting lambs over 40 kilos I think I've got about 10, 15, might be more, might be less oh, it's definitely more than 10 We'll get a count up of them in a minute but this lamb here you can see, it's, hang on till I get this light working 7 it just over 44 kilos and it's very fat, probably too fat so I'll just put a wee blue keel on its arse there, in case they get mixed in together, and then I'm letting them run. You won't be able to see any of this because it's so dark, but then I'll let them run through. And then we get another one in. This one looks a bit too small. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. 35 kilos. Small one again. Again. So, abrupt ending, all of a sudden you've jumped to my face. I didn't take any more footage of the lambs, obviously it got very dark that night and I was away first thing in the morning, rushing to get to Lanark in time and various other things. Excuses, excuses, I'm going to try and up my game for future lamb selling videos. Anyway, long story boring, I drew 22 lambs, that was 21 Texels and one Jacob Weather and there was three used that went as well uh, for various reasons I think they had uh, damaged bags which is like a damaged udder so it wouldn't be able to feed lambs next year essentially so three of those were selected to go to the, the fat sale as well along with these 22 lambs and the sale date was 27th of July 
The 21 texture lambs made £94.50 and the Jacob lamb made £75, top to Jacob section, big time Jacob breeder, ball up. And the, the yows, I'm just reading the line here, the yows made £75 each, which again was a good strong trade as well. So tremendous, That I mean it tells me here that was an average, including the Jacob, that was an average weight of 39.86 kilos and average two two pounds thirty five per kilo. So really delighted with that trade. It's all down for here. Like the trade is going to drop. I'm acting all clever. This is about a month later, so I know the trade's dropped. <laughs> I was going to be like, aye, I can see the trade drop dropping to about two pound a kilo in a month's time. But it is a month's time, so I know it's dropped. But don't depress yourselves. The grass grows, they eat the grass, they get fat, you sell them. It's a beautiful game, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's very different than the shearing. We're sort of moving away from shearing now, although the next vlog is going to be my last shearing vlog, I believe. Hopefully you enjoy it. It's down at Lilburn Estate, back in the Thumbling next. So look forward to the next vlog. It should be out on Wednesday. Cheers for watching, guys. I'm not going to go on any longer. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Cheers. And the Jacob Lamb made £78. And the Jacob Lamb made £75.